I thought about like what I used to look like yeah. and what I look like now. And I, 20 years ago, I never ever would have thought I would look like this. No one could ever imagine themselves looking different in just 20 years, especially Rick Yarish, who looks completely different. So I have a right leg below knee amputation. Uh, my hands were, they were burnt really bad. And this is all the motion I have right here. That's it. I lost both ears and half of my nose, which it was hard to deal with at first, but uh, I really realized that I'm totally content and happy with who I am. Before he was injured, Rick looked like everyone else. Uh, I think that's freshman or sophomore, ninth or 10th. In high school, Rick played sports. Football was like my, my love, I loved football. And just like everyone else, he looked and he lived a normal life. In 2004, he joined the army and a year later, he was in Iraq fighting for his country. You know, to this day, I still believe it was the best decision I ever made. Even after his life changed forever, that one day when a bomb exploded on the road he was patrolling. So it was another day, you know, when on patrol, this time we were in our Bradley and I was the gunner. Just like every other day, we got our vehicle ready. We went, we were driving down a road that was very familiar to us because we've done it for the last couple weeks or the last week at least. And that day, uh, there happened to be an IED on the road. As soon as the IED hit us, I was engulfed in fuel. Uh, and instantly after that, I was engulfed in flames. And just when he thought all hope was lost, those flames ignited his faith. I basically made a leap of faith, hoping that I was jumping towards the ground. I knew it was bad. I knew it was really bad. Um, I could see my face uh, without a mirror. It was hanging off of my chin. Uh, I could see my hands hanging off of my fingertips. It was a bad situation, and I knew it was a bad situation, but I still had to ask somebody, you know? So I asked my buddy, uh, I said, how bad is it? And he said to me, he said, it's not that bad. 60% of Rick's body was burned and he would spend months at the Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas, recovering and finding hope. Hope to me stands for hold on possibilities exist. And for Rick, the possibilities are limitless. He's now a motivational speaker, sharing his life story and his message of hope. But number two is hope. Um, and it's one thing that I have gone through many times where I've had hope and I've lost hope many times in my life. Uh, how many of you remember my story? That story, his story, motivates both the young and the old. I tell kids all the time, Rick used to be a superhero for what he did for um, America, for what he sacrificed. When I see Rick Yarish now, I don't see a soldier. I've dubbed him a hope expert because he understands hope and hopelessness on a level that you and I will never understand, hopefully. Rick's message of hope is not in how you look, it's how you feel. Kids are looking at it wrong, in my opinion. When they look in the mirror, they shouldn't think about what they're going to look like in 20 years. They should think about what they're going to feel like in 20 years. You can't control how you look. And that's why Rick Yarish is the face of hope. I'm Catherine Witherspoon, NCC News.